Yeah. Exactly. Awesome. All right. Um, so I sent out an email, but just for record, um, I'm going to give you an updating on the media with uh, Harbor Compliance. Mm -hmm. Now, Harbor Compliance uh, is a company that does all registration and everything that goes with it for a nonprofit, including a corporation. Um, they do a name availability search, nonprofit articles of incorporation, nonprofit bylaws, federal EIN, conflict of interest policy, 501c exemption, uh, and a registered agent. Now, with all that, it sounds wonderful. The problem is their fee is $1,699. No. Is my shirt too bright? No. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. So, it's warm. Um, I think, personally, it's uh, just one voice here, but I think it's too much for what we, right. we just don't have the funds to do that. Sure. It would be nice because it's all in a nice package, have it done for us. Uh, so, if uh, somebody would like to make a motion, we can vote on it whether or not we want to go with these guys. We have a, we have a quorum here, don't we? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll make a motion that we don't go with it. All right. Second. I second. Okay. Any discussion? Everybody good? All right. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed? So there we go. So we're not going to go with, uh, with the service of Harbor Compliance. All right. Update on attorney search. David Scarpetti. Well, we've talked to... Um, I talked to Matt about discussing with David Hess, and David Hess um, hasn't done one in a long time. Is that what he's Yeah, I said he hasn't been an active attorney for 15 years. And then I ran into Cindy Robertson at a meeting, a planning board meeting last week, and I tried talking to her about it, and she was, see if, she was going to look in to see if she had anybody else that, that would be interested in doing it as far as an attorney. But we do have somebody that Matt and I were supposed to meet with today that is, she says it's a three-page um, document that we need to fill out. She was going to help us with it. So I really thought be willing to dive into it and see what it takes. Fred and I did our 401k. We, we did our, or not our 401k, 501, 501, 501c3 501. thing for Columbus when we did that. It took us about four months to do it. Yeah. It was some work. If there's a, there's a procedure you have to follow, right. and if you follow that procedure, it's not that difficult. Right. It really isn't. Right. 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 It just... Right. That's what I'm saying. I'm willing to jump they, in and, and do well, the paperwork. It's this, not that big. This not girl has done... have any... Because, I mean, from what I understand from people, it only becomes difficult when you're an ongoing organization. You have accounts, you have money. That's right. So we... Once you collect money and start opening up accounts, it becomes difficult because then you've got to go through all the banking regulations and reporting requirements. But before you do that, it's fairly simple. Well, I understand. I so, right. Brenda was going to help us out with that. Yeah. So she was. We were going to meet with her, and yeah. so we're going to still try to get together with her and just for initially and see what we'll, to get the law ball rolling. And might, might I suggest that if you're just going to do that now, if you're willing to do it, and we want you to do it, get in touch with the New Hampshire Charitable Foundation. Mm -hmm and find out what kind of assistance they can give you. Because I think that they can give you some assistance in doing what needs to be done. Mm -hmm. That's their business, is to support New Hampshire Charitable, charitable Foundation. Yes. They support all kinds of charities statewide. So that's different than New Hampshire nonprofit organization? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, I don't know if they do or not, but get in touch with them. Yeah. And we did this for foundation. So, needless to say, we're still, still uh, we were hopeful that we we're going to get together today with her. We were supposed to meet her here today. And then uh, her schedule isn't going to work, and Matt's schedule isn't going to work. So. Is it, now, is this Cindy that you're talking about? No, no somebody else. Uh, this is uh, Brenda. You remember Brenda? That meeting at your place? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Anything else on that? No. You good? You good? All right. Yeah. Um, here's, a, here's a checklist. 
I'm not doing any more because I've done my share. <laughs> oh, what a nice guy. This is awesome. There is an easy form now, which probably did exist when Kiwanis did it. It's a, and as long as you don't have any financial statements, which we don't have right now, no, no. it's right. a hell of a lot easier. Before we get any, let's do it. No. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll assist somebody or whatever. They can ask me questions, but uh, I'm getting too old for this shit. I'm 81 next month. You're still a pup. <laughs> you're, you're as young as you feel. So yeah. well, let me ask you this. <laughs> nice. You're still nice. Yeah, but I'm still working. You're not. You're playing up there with the funny farm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this this 1023. No, it, it, you mean Dreamland? That's what we have. <laughs> That's a 501 C3. Yeah. Right. And they're dreaming we're paying. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Love page. Okay, so all of it. Okay, um, we'll have to look through this and talk about this. The checklist, there you go. Yeah. Perfect. So at least we have this, then we can, when we sit together, we have a meeting. Okay. <laughs> and, and we need an attorney pro bono. <laughs> we're not going to get much done in that. What's that? We need an attorney pro bono. We don't have any money. You're right, right. right. Well, they did it with a with an account, with their, their uh, CPA and their. Um, and their organization. So we'll see. The New Hampshire CPA, yeah, that's, that's an idea. I don't know. So, do you know any CPAs? <laughs> <laughs> you mean retired? Or you regular? Mean, yeah. <laughs> you mean you live in a certified pain in the ass? I know a lot of them. Yeah, I think we're going to have a room, room full of them. I won't pay attention on ski tickets anymore. I promise. Get the corners, auctions, okay? Yeah. Did you help us out? Yeah. Okay. There you go. You're on board, man. Cool. All right, anything else on that? Before we move on? Moving on, babe. All right, uh, update on banking requirements. Oliver or Elaine? Yep. Oliver, Oliver's yeah. here, so he gets the torch. Elaine spoke to Gail at TD Bank and uh, got some information. I spoke to Santander, a young man named Paul, and they got the same basic information. But Elaine was told we really can't do anything until we file and have the, uh, the uh, name. The name. 501C. 501C3 status. Now, when I spoke to the person at Santander Bank, he told me that if we go to New Hampshire, the, you know, state SOS, the, the uh, state of, Secretary of State, and then file and get up and get a business name, and then if we get the uh, EIN from the IRS, then he said that we could take those, and then what they have at Santander is a uh, what's called mm -hmm. universal resolution, which kind of says you're an organization and these people are allowed to pull money from this account. Mm -hmm. If you have that, that you can open a bank account. And I asked them like twice because I was like, we're not a 501c3 yet because we, we're not an organization yet. And I had the understanding that he said to me that if you, and I called the Secretary of State and they said, the file for a nonprofit is $25. Mm -hmm. They said you can file it mm -hmm. by mail, takes two weeks, you can do it online with quick start, takes two or three days. We'll give you the paperwork, the forms for that, and then once you fill it out and once you have the business name, so I said if I just come to you with my business name for my nonprofit and I go on the IRS and I get my EIN number for my nonprofit, I'm back. And he said yes. So I, I probably just wanted to wait till Gail come back, comes back and to kind of run it by maybe her and T. Lincoln because it seems to me that you can be a nonprofit, you can be a community organization. That's what I told him. I said it's a community organization. I said it does not have a nonprofit status yet that wants to open up a bank account. Well, I talked to Gail, and I, I talked to Tamitha, and I talked to Joanne over there at TD yeah. Bank. And uh, if we have a business name, we registered that business name and got a federal ID number for that. We could use that, and then what we could do is, when we became a nonprofit, we would have to close that and get another federal ID number for the nonprofit. Oh, so potentially that might right be the missing step. So maybe we, yeah. so we, if we register the name and get a federal ID number for that, for that, uh, our organization, then we could start taking, I guess we could start taking money in as donations or whatever, and then uh, once we became a nonprofit, then we would close that one and just have the nonprofit. Because we're going to get an EIN number for the nonprofit. Right. right. Yeah, so the, the um, it's an SS4, it's a very easy 
It's like a one page, uh, there's nothing to that. It's an SS4 just to get the number. But you got to start with the number. It's a nine digit number. The EIN? Is that what you're yeah. talking about? Yeah. 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 And you can do it right online with, with the government. They'll give it to you almost instantaneously. Yeah, because the guy from uh, Harbor Compliance, he basically was saying, and I think it's what we're all saying here, is when we talk about um, registering the name, I think that's incorporation, isn't it? Because how else do you register the name? Doesn't matter. I don't think it was sales incorporation. She was just pay twenty five dollars. Doesn't matter. They have, I think they have to do a search to make sure their name's not being used. That's right. And, that's all you, and right. then it's your name as long as it's you not. You can walk into the Secretary of State's office and say, I'd like to use, I, I did this a long time ago. I had, I had, I forget what that was, uh, pine wood because I was making things out of pine. So I wanted this name to be registered so I could put out a business card and all of this kind of thing. It takes about two minutes. It really does. It doesn't take very long. You go up there and tell all they do is they run a search, and they do it like that on a computer. Find that name's not in use, bang, give us the money. Goodbye. Yeah. That's it. So yeah, that, you. registering your name like that, getting an EIN, those are the two things we need mm -hmm. to yeah, absolutely. open up a bank account? Listen to him. I think Frank, and then you have to, give me five years of stay yeah, Every five years. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's right. It's either 50 bucks or 100 keep bucks or like that to keep going. Yeah. That's right. So it doesn't have to be a corporate, or it no. could just be no. a name. Corporate, corporate so it doesn't matter. Proprietor. Just so just it's go in there and get it. Looks at community builders. What do we want for a name? Do we want? Well, that was what builders? I was going to ask. What is our name going to be? Looks at community builders. Yeah. Yeah. Is the board? Okay yeah. With that? I'm going to do that. That's yeah. good. Okay. Right there. That's it. You got so it. That's why we're here. All right, so are you volunteering to register the name? I can do it. That's fine. So what are we going to do about money, though, because it does cost money? Well, maybe we can borrow some money from TV Bank. How much does that cost? 20 bucks. 20 bucks. All right. I'll put up the fee. We'll, we'll look for a reimbursement, yeah. At a later date. Make it make a note. Reverse mask. Later date. I will. Then now we're gonna just get a federal ID. How do we're gonna get the federal ID? I mean, just call them. get a federal ID number. I can, I can do it. Yeah, yeah you book, can do the that. The bookkeeper will want it off. Okay. I did this without authorization. Do <laughs> <laughs> you have a purchase order for that? Yeah. Exactly. A change order? I'm sure. I'm sure <laughs> Judy will be like, what the hell is this? <laughs> It's 900, 918. <laughs> I just want to throw something out about your Hooks at Community Builders. I'm thinking, I'm looking at this name, Hooks at Community Builders. Could people mistake that for another contracting company? Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking builder could be, an, you know, it could be another word, Hooks at Community Enhancers. I'm just throwing, throwing something out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Hooks at Community Center Developer. No, you're on developer. Hooks at Community Center. Community Center, yeah. Hooks Community. And that, that, would, that would also be some advertising value. Right. Hooks at Community Center. You want people to know that you're in what you're doing. Hooks at Community. Hooks at Community Center. Builders? <laughs> no, I think we <laughs> dropped the Time builders. Drop the builders, builders. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Hooks at Community Center. But that's a place, right? Hooks hook, hook at Community Center. Advocates. <laughs> Hooks at community and answers, advocates. Uh, Throw some words out there. What's on your mind? <clears throat> What's thinking? What do you think? I like Hooks Hooks at Community Center Planner. Yeah, I don't mind the building. Hooks at Community Center Planner. Hooks at Community Center Planner. Hooks at Community Planners. And now you're sounding like you're competing with the planning yeah. board. You know, yeah, no, 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 no,
community centers how we're going to do that. Sure. So that well, was, that was well even just to open up this account, it doesn't really make any difference. When we open up the do the 501, then we would have to. Then you can. Then we could change it between now and then. Maybe we can all think about that and come up with a good name for the for it because it would be good advertising for the center, supporters. the supporters, or communities. Yeah. Looks at community center support support. Sure. That seems reasonable. Sounds like we're in sales. <laughs> John, for our community, folks at Center supporters, this is, is an uh, article just we're using uh, uh, a fiscal year June 30 because they're going to ask me that question. So we're going with this June 30, right? Okay. June 30? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what you got here. Yeah. Fiscal year. Okay. So, so we're going to go folks at community center. center. Supporters. Okay. I'll, I'll go with you. I'll guarantee you there's no other name like that. <laughs> yeah, I know. I think we can get it. Oh, yeah, I know we can get it. Oh, yeah, we also have other supporters. He hooks it to meet some supporters. Yes. Yeah. Right. Hooks it community center and athletic supporters. <laughs> No, now you're taking over. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, and I'll get Mark Shagg on my back. No way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everybody in agreement on that, I guess? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, All right, uh, so updated community program. Ross Santulis couldn't make it tonight, so uh, Joe. Yeah, Ross, is, Ross and I have been in communication, and we talked about looking at different, either whether community centers or other programs in the area with the Boys and Girls Clubs or uh, YMCA, different programs that they offer, offer as well as talking to residents in town and seeing what they think are the best programs out there. So we've only very, very barely started this process. Ross has talked to the Hooks and Library, Heather Rainier there, and she said really the only programming they don't have that there's a need of would be for uh, physically recreational programs, uh, physical recreational programs, so that, that's definitely something we want to keep in mind. And her hope was that everything we do is in conjunction, goes along nicely with the library, so that we have a nice partnership throughout the process of getting the community center up and running, and then once it's up and running, making sure that there's a good partnership there. So that's really important to her. So right now it's just Ross and I on this subcommittee. So if anyone else is interested, um, just let Ross or myself know. We'll make sure that we keep you in mind for putting together what we want for the programming. So are we talking about everything that we want to do in that building? Is that what that yeah. idea is? Yeah. yeah. Just starting out. Just starting to collect some ideas. Ross and I agreed that we wanted to make sure that you know the 501c3 was the, kind of the priority for us because we can't really do anything right. without that. But then as we're starting to you know solicit for donors, we want to make sure that we have a concrete plan so that way people will understand what they're gonna be donating money to. We want to make sure that we are meeting what the residents are looking for and you know, to spell it out pretty clearly to what we're going to be doing. Recently, Matt and I had occasion to visit the Boys and Girls Club, mm -hmm. for example, and. Oh, no. There. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's exactly. And, yeah. and I'll tell you, that really is the community center in Dad. When you really the other place that I visited recently was the Boys and Girls Club of Exeter, which is in the same mode, it's mm -hmm. in the same thing. Almost all of the extracurricular kind of things that are not handled directly by the town are done by Boys and Girls Club in, in Exeter. And I went up to Milo, Maine, way down in Maine, mm -hmm. and they're, they're a whole different thing because they're isolated. They're all by themselves, so they, Kiwanis has their own thing up there. This, there again, it's boys and girls. So what I would suggest we might want to do, not that we have to do it, would be to find out, and I didn't do that while we were there, would be to find out what needs are you meeting in this center. Put them all together. And then see what's being met in Hooksa. 
and I would do the same thing in Concord. I would go to, because Concord, Concord has a satellite in Allenstown. Right. I think it's on School Street in Allenstown. You know where that is. They have a, a satellite place there where all the kids in Allenstown go there, and they do a lot of these kinds of things there. So it might be worthwhile to visit some of these places, or to at least contact by telephone some of them and ask them what they're doing, you know, what kind of response they're getting, what would happen if you didn't have that, okay. and, then, and then look at hooks and see what we're doing, who's doing it. If somebody's already doing it, just pull it out, set it aside, and then you have, I think, a kind of a, a, a minimal idea of what you would want to happen in that place. I would get in touch with the, the seniors in the I'll get in touch with them all. That's, that's interesting because that came up at the uh, Park and Ricks Advisory Committee. Did you hear about that? When no. They, they, they said they had talked to about uh, who's in charge of the hooks and they said, we're not interested in any. Yeah. Well, they're not. Yeah, they're I was like, what? What do you mean? The hooks they're not in interested in anything that costs money. Right, there you go. That, all right, that might have been the case yeah, right up. It's a stage of life where all at once you say no to everything. Right, right, right. And right, I right. think yeah, probably but, they're great people. They really are. I know a lot of them. I'm right. Old, I'm older than dirty. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know a few of them. And then that, that's the only thing, again, too, is that's so interesting that you, you mentioned the libraries. That's one of the things, again, that uh, uh, you know, Park and Rec did discuss a few times is pictures. That's exactly it. Is, is she's kind of maxed out as many different she's programs right. trying to, you know, you try to tie so many things together in town because, well, nothing else is going on. So, well, there's not, there's nothing, not enough youth programs, there's not adult. So she's trying to cover a vast array. You know, some of it works, some of it doesn't work, but the whole idea is, you know, she's kind of maximized in different directions, but we don't want to steal anything from her. We want to no, augment it. Sure. Right, right. But, the, but the whole idea is, again, it's like that. Well, a certain program where, oh, well, if you're going to have a program for a, a, a parents, middle-aged parents and then in, in the nursery, well, you're not going to get that at the library. So they might have a program for kids at the library. But if the parents are at the center and they're exercising, you know what I mean? There's stuff like that that you can't tie in very easily with yeah. your library right. because of the location. So, so what, what's happening in the town hall right now in that little place on the first floor? They have right. Zumba dancing. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. Pickleball. We, we need to know about that. Right. We need to know that there's pickleball going on there. Yeah. Is it adequate now or is it not? You yeah, need more room or not? Right, we saw the few. You want a place to play? You want yeah, a yeah. pickleball court? That's right, exactly. At the community center or whatever. Right. I mean, it's like, well, Rebecca Murtaugh, I mean, Re Re Rebecca Collins, Rich Murtaugh's wife, yeah. went to do that program at the school, yeah. and they, the PTA freaking sabotaged it. Oh, sure. That, that, and, and there's another so one. So there's another one. I mean, they should have. The school. They should have known that somebody should have talked it out. Right. So we didn't waste a whole bunch of time doing this program and having three people show up. Was it because Kiwanis was sponsoring it, or was it was the person running the PTA that was uh, yeah. power truck? Personalities. Well, you're not going to. Uh, that's one of those things that's, uh, that's interesting too with the library. Again, is it's not a staffing thing with the town. The whole idea is there's volunteers, and that's the whole idea. If you want to keep those volunteers going the direction they're going instead of going, okay, we're not doing that anymore, and those volunteers leave. You don't, you don't right. want to have that. You want, you want to continue with going in a you certain want direction. To, you right. don't want somebody you don't even know about feeling badly about the community center because they're taking because they're away from right, 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 right. Oh, yeah, That's right, yeah. that's right. HYAA, you know, really need to sit down right. fully with them and say, what do you need? What are you already doing? How can we help you? Right. We don't want to take anything away from you. Right. We really don't. Right. right. No. We don't want to compete with no, them. Don't compete with us. Yeah. Yeah, I think what we've talked about before still rings true that um, we're not targeting one specific no. right. group, right? right? We're trying to meet the needs of as many as we can of things that aren't there already. And I think that's your point. Without alienating those who are already doing but the only way to find out is things, to talk what's there is to talk to everybody. We, we need to make a list of all these organizations. We need to talk to the Lions, we need to talk to the right. Knights of Columbus, yeah. we need to talk right. to all right. these organizations. Right. Right. Find out what they're doing. Because if we're going to have a community center, you could rent it, you could use it, you could right. whatever. Are you going to have a dance? Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to do? Yeah. 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 What's going on? Right. Right. You know, there are events going on now in Hooksford, or 
that originate in Hopsuk that can no longer be held in Hopsuk because we don't have a We're going out to the London Dairy, for Pete's sake, right. to put on a visit for a governor, for example. Right. We're going to... We well, there's there zero to places do, around here. That because have, we just uh, don't have a place like that. Right. Go to the executive so, so mansion. Maybe the, maybe the deal is to really look at what events could we have in town that we're not having in town right, right now? And what would it take to pull those off? Does it take kitchen facilities? Town Hall has some kitchen facilities. Well, Hooks of Citizen of the Year has to go to Manchester. Oh, got to go to Manchester. Right. It'd be great right. if it could stay in Hooks. Right. Lions Club. Right. They're the Citizen of the Year. That's, in, that's, that's the appearance. The yeah. You know, that kind of thing. Those kinds of things could come here. If we if we really look at it, and I think that's going to well, be. Well, there's BNI group forming and hooks it at the tap house. Yeah. And they oh. need a bigger room. Well, right. 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 There's no way. Can, cannot handle no. anything more than the size of our right. hearing club. I know what it's right. like to look for a group, to look yeah. for a room to hold 50 people right. every week. It's not, not easy. Not easy. Right. Even in Manchester, it's not easy. Mm. Right. Hooks it, it doesn't exist. So. Yeah. Yeah, enough of that. So. All right. All right. Um, so job, I, Joe. I think you were just, that kind of kicked off this uh, discussion already of goals and priorities for them. Um, you know, we, we are, we're doing things here in parallel, and I just want to make sure we stay on track with the things we need. And so I think we get, we want to have the board agree to what, what are our priorities. You know, we've said a few things here, but let's let's just stick to some priorities, mm -hmm. make sure we get those done in the right order, and then, you know, we'll keep doing that, keep setting new priorities every couple of meetings, probably, right. it depends on how we make progress. Right. Um, if, we're, if we're stuck on something, it's going to take us a little while, well, so be it, well, we're going to keep that as our priority, um, you know, so we don't start things, half finish them, start another thing, half finish, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, uh, and, and Frank touched on that at his fr the first meeting, or the first time he spoke. Go on, Frank. You know, um, is getting that list going of what is it that we want and what do we want to get accomplished in what order. So know? the question then is, you opened it, what are our priorities right now? What is priority number one? What is priority number two? Priority number three? Right. And let's put a target date out there somewhere. Right. Where we say this our goal is to have our PIM and whatever. Five one C three, whatever the hell it is. In six months. In, in three months, four months, five months. Four, four months. months. That's whatever. Four, four months. months. That's a lot. That's a long time. Right. You think so? Yeah. That's, that's not hard stuff to get that right. so, so just while we're out there, as I said, you guys are a new town administrator, you know that we hired right. June yeah. 5th town hall. He's going to be awesome. He's going to be amazing. He's going to be awesome. Yeah, so, yeah. so, yeah. so again, great. something else on priorities, and, and if we get a list and go to him, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for And I would I, invite I, him to one of these meetings. I, really I quick. would. I would. And I, I think would. you ought to do that. I could. I could. And I also think when we go to approach all these other organizations, Lions, Help, whatever, nice to Columbus. You need to do it in the thoughtful way. It's a, it's like we need, okay, these are the questions we ask. Right. This is what this is. We all, you know, we ask the same questions of all these organizations right. so that we get good data so we yep. can all put it all together. No. Right. Um, instead of oh, I forgot to ask this or I forgot to ask that. I mean, right. we really need to have something questionnaire. Well, it's, it's kind of like what we did with what the. the uh, same with what Dave and I did with the economic development yeah. thing. We went out with, okay, this is your thing, yeah. these are your questions. We you put with together a matrix of it too, right? right? And we went to visit all the different places. Yeah. yeah. We had a list. No, it's good idea. Well, well, again, that's one of the things I'm getting off base, but that was one of the things that uh, we've been touched on and talking about the uh, master plan and the planning board and how the uh, stuff from 04, and you had this huge outpouring community of 04, but then nothing was ever planned on this town right. to make sure that the master plan was actually done. You know, there was never a plan to go, okay, which one are we going to prioritize and start working on? Half of the stuff that did happen, happened on its own. It had nothing to do with the fact that the town council or the master plan actually got, you know, somebody said, okay, let's make a plan, we're going to do step one. That never happened, right? And that's that's another issue that like I said that's interesting on that town side, that pictures, 
there's a lot of stuff in that master plan that has never been phased in. And a lot of people have a lot of wish lists on there. We had the Jordan Institute, I mean, we had a, a UNH come in. We've had these studies, and we have a lot of that information. Right. The whole idea is, again, like I told you, pictures, the plan has no plan to make sure any of that is actually, you know, we're, we're, they're updating the master plan, but there is no phasing plan going on. And it would be interesting if we at least can bounce off some of that. So now it looks like, well, look at it. This is what the people are asking for. This is what they want. This is what the well, I was on the original yeah. economic development committee back in 2001. Yeah. Steve Korsanowski and John Stanhope. And yeah. None of that. The charrette, the whole thing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's all, all great plans. It yeah, sounds all great. great plans. But, but a lot of it never happened. So. All right, so let's, let's just start simple here. Um, we've talked about it tonight. I think everybody's in agreement, but let's make sure. We want to get an EIN. Okay. Right. We need that, right? Yeah. So is that priority one? Yeah. Yep. Right. Okay. Uh, so priority one, one is Secretary of State get a name, then the EIS. The EIS. <laughs> you know, I, I can I can get the EIN with, with these bylaws. You can do it. Yeah. <laughs> I can have it tomorrow. There you go. Okay. That's getting things done. Yeah. <laughs> they do it instantaneously. You, you want to ask something? Online, you want to get something done? You ask Henry. We got a there you go. Yeah, name. Okay, so name registration. All right, when uh, you've got those two things, is it the bank account next? Bank account. Yeah, once we get the EI, EIN, that's the next step, right? So I can get on the website tomorrow and I'll see if I can register this thing. And yeah, get that thing right. I mean, it should be pretty instant, I think. Okay. Um, so are we going to Santander? Is that Santander? No, we haven't decided. We have to decide what bank we're going to do. Whether it's oh, okay. Bank, Citizens Bank, Santander Bank, Bank of America. So that's under Merrimack County, County uh, soon to be Mar Northeast Credit Union. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're all here, man. Heritage. Yeah, they just keep saying we need to put a team there for Merrimack County. No problem. Yeah, if, you if you can't find a bank in town, you're not looking. <laughs> well, <laughs> the TD Bank is going to join Columbus. Yeah, that's true. So let's. Merrimack yeah. County is a member of Columbus. Yeah. So either one of those would be my choice. I know. I know. I, we do. I do a lot of business with TD Bank. And me too, man. Yeah. And we can get put on their list for the library at the same time. Is it Merrimack County? Is it? Well, I mean, I would. I would talk to Merrimack County or talk to TD Bank and see who's a better package for nonprofits. Yeah, for, say fair I mean, what are the fees? What are this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fees. If you yeah. want to be fair, you should do three. Yeah. I hope they're right. You do three. 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 Sounds like a town hour. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> 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 you need somebody out of the loop to get trouble. Heritage Family Credit Union. You know. John, there's a girl that lives around a corner from you. It was supposed to be the treasurer for HYA. I don't know what happened, but that Kelly Rice? Yes. Or, yes. She works yeah. at TD Bank. Yeah, right as you walk in. Yeah. She started out as treasurer at HYA. I, I, I don't know. But she still handled all the accounts and, and everything. So. Well, I had invited her here, too. Her or her husband's an engineer. So I wanted to get one of them or both of them involved in this yeah. also. And so once we start having meetings where people start attending, right. then we can, uh, I originally talked to her. Yeah. Yeah. Right as you walk in, I do. Yeah, right? Yeah. All right, so once we get that established and we get some money put in. So are you going to talk to, like, the, talk to Gail or talk to Tamitha at TV Bank? Go, go right to the managers? Uh, Oliver, Gail, or Yeah. Okay. They do yeah. a lot. Yeah. But, but she's not there. Gail's real fast. <laughs> you don't really, you know, that to me is is touchy when you start going to two, two of the banks are members of Kiwanis, two of them aren't. You have to be really careful with that stuff. You give it to one or the other and not, you know. Mm. Well, I know, I know TD Bank was upset when they, Merrimack mm -hmm. County got their thing for the business of the year, and TD well, Bank had been giving money to the 
to the library for six years. So I'm going to have to put you in, I know, in, I know. in, in, the, in the mill to become <coughs> I know, whatever. I know. Mm. Mm. Right. Oh, yeah, no, I think unions in this town. Yeah. Well, there's all these rich old people in town. Yeah. <laughs> and if all else fails, Greg Henry. I thought you were going to say rich retired. <laughs> okay, so, we'll right, so that's kind of some nuts and bolts on it, right? Now, now, once we get past that, do we start working toward the, uh, the non-profit status? Or do we want to operate in this mode for a while? Well, uh, that's going to take us a little bit of time anyway to get that going. The nonprofit. The yeah, nonprofit status will probably take a couple months anyway. Yeah, right. Right. How are we going to do three months? Right. Look, another thing we don't want to add to the list is how are we going to track this? Right? Is this like, how are we going to track when money comes in? Are we going to sign up for QuickBooks? Are we going to do put it online? I mean, how, how are we? Is it going to be yeah. just in the bank account and I just do Excel spreadsheets? Yeah. I think from the very beginning we could do an Excel spreadsheet until it gets a little complicated, then we'll have to do something. So someone from within has to become the treasurer of this organization. Right. And they have to keep really good records. Well, Elaine would be the... Yeah. Whoever that is, yeah. it doesn't yeah. matter. This is the man right, right. So on your left. I, I, I spoke to her about doing uh, right. spreadsheets and she was like, they really should... She didn't prefer the spreadsheets. I, I, I told her, I said, I would be probably looking at, she was like, probably the right way to do this thing, go put the put books or online. Right. You know, so mm -hmm. maybe, maybe the thought is, I can bring back some, some books, for, but it's going to cost some money. I mean, put books and stuff might be like $300 for a nonprofit operation. Right. And then uh, the online is like maybe, maybe it's like $30 or something like that, a month or something like that. And to be honest, I don't know if we're at that low we need $30 a month. We're not going to do anything. But, but just let you know we need somewhere to track your money. And so maybe the first six months it's through a spreadsheet. But I think we, I don't think the spreadsheet should just be, should be temporary. Mm -hmm. We should be doing something that's more right. like, I just use the little, the little checkbook that they give me. Right. <laughs> right. I, yeah. yeah. I, I think that's probably down the road just a little way to right. down before okay. we start kicking in. All right. We need to check on that kind of thing. Sure yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Well, you want to use at inception the KISS accounting principle. Keep it simple. It's simple. It's very simple. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay, no, good, good. That's good feedback. Absolutely. Yeah. Really simple. And if you could get to me, but I'm almost sure you can say no, but you can't beat Sue Wiley. Yeah. <laughs> Sue Wiley is the best. Income, expenses. That's all you need right now. Yeah. Yeah. I will talk to Sue, though. Sue Wiley. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> Just get some friendly advice. I got it for HYAA because HYAA was a disaster. Yeah. Uh, but. She's just doing a bookkeeping for Yeah, wow. she's taking on a lot of yeah, yeah, She's, she's got a lot on her plate. Yeah, she's I'll just ask her for some advice. Don't put spreadsheet. anything more on Judy's plate, please. <laughs> no. <laughs> but Judy knows plate books, though. I'm taking priority over all that. There you go. <laughs> got it. Um, so. Is that our fifth priority is yeah. management of money? Yeah. Just the decision on management of money. That's enough priorities for now. Management of money and management of a uh, okay. Once we figure all that stuff out. I'll just say management of money tool. And I think that'll be that'll should, that list should be good for a few months anyway. Yeah. Because it'll take a while. Yeah. I would add that. control what are your control measures with that? Like uh, in other words, who's gonna be signing the checks? Who's going to be auditing stuff like that? So you want control measures. Well, we have two pre treasurers. We have a treasurer and mm -hmm. assistant treasurer. We have the same thing with Kiwanis. I pretty much I think um, somebody checks Sue mm -hmm. on a regular basis too, or every yeah. quarter or whatever it is. We also have a, a specialist from the uh, Air Force. <laughs> okay. No. We used to do oh, this oh, that's good. Oh, okay. good. 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 So we have another person we can get some advice from here. Good idea. Um, well, we right. have a lot of money. I, I recommend we open our account to buy stock with Edward Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys in collusion together? Who's going to end up with the first?
first new car. I'm out for you. Do we have a conflict of interest policy? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think we should just put the sixth thing down here as the 501 because we're going to be working on well, that. Well, that's it. Yeah. That, at the same this time. all leads to that. Right. 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 So, yeah, 501. And that's C3. enough for now. And do you think? Do you think we, if we needed Fred, do you think he could help us out with a little? He of might be. He might be able to. However, I got to tell you, Pauline had an operation on the 20th. I don't know if Pauline's know this or not. If they don't, they ought to send her a card. Right. Okay. Throw it out. Or whatever. Whatever it is here. And uh, Fred has, has uh, had this back problem. Uh, they tried to insert a pain relief mechanism that he could dial in into the spine. Doesn't Didn't work. work. Won't work on it. Nothing more they can do right now. So the guy is, he's miserable. Yeah. He really does. I wouldn't ask him at this point okay. to do anything. I think when Fred is ready, He'll rush back in. You won't. You won't. All right. You won't be able to stop him. Yeah. Yeah. That would be my recommendation. It, I hesitate to even call him. I was George. I was surprised to see I him. I talked to him all the time. I was surprised to see him at the uh, yeah. the year. Yeah. Well, well, he made a special effort to get there. I'm sure he did. Yeah. I was in the Bermuda. I would have been. Yeah. He seems like he was a pretty good spirit. I'm sure he was. Well, he's good spirits, but you know, he has his downtime too. Can he drive still? Or? He can. She just doesn't drive, does she? Uh, she drives, she does. Yeah, but he's, he's after the operation, he's probably taking care of her right now. That's the whole oh. idea. And he's, he's got a miserable lower back. Right? He's got a miserable lower back. She's a very frail lady. Yeah. They're both great people, really. Oh, uh, they really are. They yeah. they do anything for you if, if you let them. So that's a that's quite a bit to get going here. Yeah. I think you have a lot down to yeah. yeah, so what do you want? Um, do you want to set a target date for completion of this? Yeah. You know what? Targets are good. You yeah. don't have to make them, but they're good. October 1st? Something to shoot for. October 1st, definitely. So the 501? That's, 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 that seems plenty of time. In July, July, August, August September. Then. The rest of that stuff could be done by can, October. We're that right. stuff could be done in the next month, right? You're going to see most of this. The done name, in. the account, yeah, you know, the money could be done quickly. That could be done within a month. I think we'll push the other one. So we're going to see us come back to the next meeting and say we spoke to three banks and we Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You know, we'll, our recommendation to the board is okay. this bank. Yeah. Do that. Right. 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 Uh, so here's a little bit of housekeeping. Do you guys want to take time off in the summer? You know, with people vacation, do you want to keep meeting? Oh boy, I can't believe the council, they all voted it. no summer break. I'm like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, just, John? Just one month, just around the I corner. I would leave that up to you. You're the yeah. chair. Yeah. And, and, and so as far as I'm time. concerned, if I'm here, I'll, I'll meet. I'm yeah. same with me. No, I mean, yeah. same with me. I, 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 I think the worst thing you can do is not meet for we don't two or three months. We don't want to oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll so put, take it put the meeting out month. there, and if we have quorum, we'll meet. Right? That's right. If we don't have quorum, we won't we'll meet. meet. Okay. Look right. at how many people we We have quite a few people we'll missing quorum. today. We have Elaine and Ross and, yeah. and uh, the secretary. And oh, we're still meeting, right? We're still meeting, yeah. Right. Yeah, okay. I just want to throw it out there and ask. Yeah, the worst thing you can do is stop me. How much is quorum? How many quorum vote? Uh, what is it? How many How many boards? Uh, 14 total. 14? So what do we need for quorum? Nine. Nine. So You're eight. fine. You're good. You get two thirds. So eight. One over, one over 50%. Okay, one over. Okay. There you go. So eight people. Right. Um, okay, next thing uh, on our last thing on our agenda is a review of the bylaws. Dave has requested that we uh, take a, a chunk out of the bylaws and review at each meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, so everybody's on board, we come to an agreement on this stuff. So mm -hmm. um, why don't we, uh, what time we get tonight? We get a uh, quarter out just about, so how about we, uh, how about we get through Article 6? So that's a little over three pages. And I think most of it will be very quick.
Uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't print no. mine off. I'll share mine with you. Yeah, there you go. There you go. I'm a slow PDF print flow guy. <laughs> what are we going to use for an address Thank for the you. time being? You can still use your address, John? No. What we need to do is get the... Um, no, what is it called? Uh, um, it's that Post registration box. service. The agent? Is that the registration? Yes, yeah, the regis registered agent. Uh, it's called a registered agent. So does he? Don't you need an an address to, to register the name? Yeah, yeah, you are. Yeah, you, need you want to use one yours? I would prefer we we do this like we're going to do it, okay. which is the registered agent. Um, so let me take that on. I think it does cost money though. Um, so I've already. What's he charge? It. What's he charge? Well, I know through these guys it was 99 bucks, but I've also seen it as low as 50 bucks. And I think that was a year. I'll have to double check on that. So what the idea of a registered agent is, is any communication that goes on for this organization goes to that registered agent, and then they basically make copies and, and send them to whoever you want. But if you want to send them to the whole board, they send it to the whole board. Uh, but it's just basically someone that maintains an address in New Hampshire. It's got to be in New Hampshire. Um, and is your formal address, if you will, for the organization. Because I personally don't want to tie my, anything my personal right. stuff into this. Uh, now, could you just open up a PO box and be a registered agent? No, I think you have to have an address. You actually have to have a physical, physical address, address from what I saw. I suppose so. Our, our address in Kiwanis, we're 501c3. His post office box, blah, 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 blah. Do you? Yeah, what it is? Yeah. It's a post office box. Yeah, you can't just get a P.O. box and say. So all your mail comes in there. I mean, if you have any hard mail, it's got to go somewhere. Someone's got to open it. Right. Someone's got to make sure you get it or the, the secretary gets it. Right. My thought would be at some point in time, it's a post office. Mm. Uh, you use an agent, John, Chris. Yeah. Uh, you use a lawyer, they change yeah. firms. Uh, yeah. it, it just doesn't work. Sure. I think you got to yeah. go with a P.O. box. Go with a P.O. box. We don't need a real big box either. The smallest box. The smallest box. You, you don't need any. Not yeah, they, 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 yeah, they can make it fit. Yeah. Okay. All right. I just, uh, for some reason, I thought we had to have a physical address. So I, so I have to wait for that? I have to wait for that? The P.O. box? Hey, you're not storing any. Yeah. Well, I can open that <laughs> P.O. box and so register it. It will be under the name. It will, it will be under our name. Our, our new name, whatever that's going to be. Right. Before I register an A, I have to wait for a P.O. box. Okay. So I'm going to just put it in a Hooks of Community Center supporters. Okay. No, that's yours. That's yours. That's yours. All right. So we'll just see if we can take through this in the next 15 minutes. Um, so we've already changed our name, yeah. which is good. I'm going to add the yours. Article <laughs> one: uh, the name, the name of this corporation, New Hampshire nonprofit corporation, shall be Hooks of Community Center Supporters, the corporation. All right. Read that one again. Hooks of Community Center Supporters. Supporters. Center Supporters. Center. Center supporters. C-E-N-T-E-R. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I must have missed that. <laughs> the address will be in the box. Post office box. Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see the answer. See, so... This is a principal office right there. All right. Um, section 2.2, the corporation may also have offices at such other places within or without the state of New Hampshire where it is qualified to do business as its business may require as and as the board of directors may from time to time designate. So this is all boilerplate stuff right. that came right. from New Hampshire nonprofits. 
Article 3, powers and purposes. Uh, section 3 1, the purpose. Purposes of the corporation shall be to build Hooksit community one resident at a time, serve as a network for residents of Hooksit, and design and execute a plan to build a community center and splash pad, and to provide other and further services as are desirable to promote the social welfare of the citizens of Hooksit. Want to talk about that? Yeah. Well, the only thing is, Kiwanis is going to be responsible for the splash pad. So, do we put leave that in there, or even though that's going to be part of what we're in we can take that out. Just use the maybe the splash pad will be part of the community center. I right, right, right. Yeah. I just take it out. Okay. Let's just take it out. Okay. Mm -hmm. That way you're not stepping on Kiwanis. Yep. Right. All right. Anything else in there for our purpose? Mm -hmm. Nope. They want to add anything? I mean, the only thing that I would say, and I, you know, the only reason I say this is I'm not a resident of Hooksit. Yeah. Do we somehow want to broaden it without getting crazy? Uh, or is that okay? So you're well, a you're business in Hooksit. Yeah. So that well, section okay. where it says service and network for residents, do we want to say service and network for residents? Do we somehow change that to say businesses or residents, or do we want to? If we're going to talk to Allenstown or something, do we not want to be so, I mean, I understand it's for the benefit of Hooksit, but you know, somehow I want to broaden the, the well, statement. So what you, I hear what you're saying. What were you saying, Joe? I was saying where it says uh, serve as a network for residents of Hooksit, if we just put it for residents and businesses of Hooksit. Would that yeah. fix that? Yeah. yeah, there you go. And yeah, there's a chance that works. That's great. Right. Uh, that's it. Right. That's it. Right up here. Do we want to say splash pad or do we want to leave No. That's yeah. <laughs> uh, out. Because that, 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 that was. Yeah. That would be an additive. Yeah. 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 That's, that's going to be Kiwanis' donation to me. Hank, I'll update this document with what we come up with tonight and I'll just send you a copy. Did you want my glasses, Hank? I'm on the wrong line. Hey, uh, John, get, you know, I, I'm not quite sure I understand that first. The bill hooks a community, one resident at a time. You what, just steal it from Kiwanis. What are we trying to say here? I don't know what. That's, that's, you're that's, bringing that's a takeoff. Just bringing a new member. Well, that's a takeoff on the Kiwanis. The purpose of Kiwanis. Kiwanis is a global organization of volunteers dedicated to, to improving the world. One child in one community at a time. So we're going to get a cease and desist letter from Claus now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I think the original idea was, because the name was Hooks of Community Builders, yeah. had to tie something in with building, right? So it was building Hooks of Community one resident at a time. But now that we're Hooks of Community just, Center supporters, just... The cell in there, but it's less... Yeah, it's more really good. Good. So just build Hooks of Community. Community. One resident at a time. You just, just, just take out the take one resident out. at a time. Take that out. So build hooks a community, serve as a network for residents and businesses of hooks it, and design business and businesses. I said that. For residents and businesses oh, okay. of hooks it, and design and execute on a plan to build a community center, and to provide other and further services as are desirable to promote. The social welfare of the citizens of Hooksit. And Good. businesses of Hooksit. Citizens. We already said that. Citizens and businesses. So, yeah, that's kind of saying it's like the social welfare of the citizens okay. and businesses of Hooksit. Yeah. Yeah. And businesses. Okay. Powers. The corporation shall have all the powers necessary to carry out the foregoing purposes and all the powers of nonprofit corporations. Organized under the laws of the state of New Hampshire. That's pretty basic. That's pretty mm -hmm. Limitations. The corporation shall be an equal opportunity employer and it shall not discriminate on the basis of age, race, color, creed, sex, disabilities, financial status, or national origin, in the person's service or in the manner of service, in the hiring, assignment, promotion, salary, determination, or other conditions of staff employment, in the selection of members, or in the membership of its board of directors. Amen. Okay. Yeah. The corporate, do you want me to keep reading? Yeah, yeah. Is that working? Go ahead. Okay. The corporation shall neither have nor exercise any power, nor shall it engage directly or indirectly in any activity 
that would invalidate its status as a corporation, which is exempt from federal income taxation as an organization described in Section 501C of the Internal Revenue Code 1986 or any successor provision. The corporation is not organized for pecuniary profit and shall not have any capital stock. No part of its net earnings or of its principal shall end in your, I don't even know what that word is. It's a legal term. Oh, um, okay. In your help you. Help you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and that's the that's the best, uh, to the benefit of any officer, director of the corporation, or any other individual partnership or corporation, but reimbursement for expenditures or the payment of reasonable compensation for services rendered shall not be deemed to be distribution of earnings or principal. On dissolution, after provision is made for payment of debts, all property of the corporation from whatever source arising shall be distributed only to such organizations as are then exempt from tax by virtue of Section 501C of the Internal Revenue Code of 1986 or any successor provision as and as the Board of Directors of the corporation shall determine unless otherwise provided in the instrument from which the funds to be distributed derive. So that doesn't have to say 501c3 or anything there then, does it? This is a three, three, four, they're all, Henry can tell you about that. They're all different. So it could be churches. Okay, okay. Be, all right, so this is just a boilerplate. Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right, all right. Hospitals, hospitals, C4, hospitals C4, clubs, schools, the foundation is a 501c3. Three. Okay. Which means you can give a lot of money to that foundation and get that deduction. Well, I'll, if once you start doing that, I'll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm retired. retired. And I'm retarded. Yeah. yeah. All right. Article four. Members. The corporation shall have no members. I really don't understand that. To be honest with you, I don't know what that really means. Yeah. This is part of the boilerplate, but. Huh? Well, you have your board of officers. You have your. Right? Yeah. Board of Directors. Oh, board of so maybe the Board of Officers? Then it, then it goes down to the Board of Directors. So some kind of legalese. Okay, uh, yeah, okay. so let's, we'll read for it for the MA, see if it makes sense. That's why I don't need it. Right? Article 5, Directors, Section 5, 1, Powers. The Director shall supervise and control the business, property, and affairs of the corporation, except as otherwise provided by law, the Articles of Agreement of the corporation, or these bylaws. The number. There shall be a board of directors of the corporation of not less than 12 persons and not more than 21 persons. Do we have 12? Yeah, we have uh, 14. Okay. So do we take out We're good. the... We're good. Okay. I'll leave it that way. All you right. may want to expand at some point. Okay. All right. The signers of the Articles of Agreement shall elect the initial board of directors of the corporation and after five years from the inception or a period less than five years if decided by the board of directors, the members of the Board of Directors shall be elected at the annual meeting of directors. So that was this one part I put in there um, just, to, just to keep us in one consistent group for five years is the target of getting this thing done, right? Right. And then, then we can start doing elections and anybody can run for positions and all that. So that was the whole idea behind that. The young people are going to show up. The what? I said the young people are going to show up. That's right. right. Well, while we're talking. Because yeah. you want to just, you want to keep that number at 12. So I'm just saying that if it drops below 12 and then we can't do another board, then we have to cease and desist. Um, I'm just saying 12 is a big number. If it's no less than 10 or 8, eight's good number. then, you know, we can have 14. But are we saying that if we go to 11, now we have to go find somebody to join the board so we can keep going? Hopefully that won't be an issue. Right, but I'm saying this, this drags out right. a year or two, they're like, I'm tired, I don't want to do this anymore. And like, but we need you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying, we want to put ourselves in that situation, is my question. Or we could just change that number to 10, I think. Well, we those vote to change the bylaws at any time, can we? Yeah. Okay, okay, that's a good point. Yeah, you can just come back and change the bylaws. That's a good right. point. Right. And so I'll tell you what I would do is I would make sure that when you do this, you always have an odd number. Oh, yeah. As opposed to an even number. Yeah, yeah. There's a reason for that. For, for voting purposes. Because you may get to a point to where half of us are in disagreement about something. If you have an even number, you can get caught up in it. 
deadlock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nothing happens. So you may want to change that to yeah. 11. I think a lot of it's right. Yeah. I think it should be in I agree. I agree. Yeah. yeah. I think it's absolutely right. So it's five. 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 So minimum, no, no, nothing minimum tells minimum. Minimum. Right. Uh, I want to say that I remember the minimum was three. I think that's what the minimum one, is. Three. Huh? Throw five on there. What the hell? I don't care, it doesn't matter. Do <laughs> right, exactly. I don't really care. It's good enough for Jesus, it's good enough for me with three of the three yeah. more. <laughs> my, my presence. <laughs> All right, well, I've heard five and eight. Oh, you don't want the even number. You said five and eight? Five, five, five and, and seven. seven. Yeah. 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 I said eight, but five. So. It's your bylaws. Write them right. like you really want them. Go with five. Go with five. five. Go with five. 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 What difference? Uh, what difference? Uh, that's right, they're yours. Uh, all right, section 5.3, the election term. Directors of the corporation shall be elected at the annual meeting of the board of directors to serve for a term of three years or until their successors are elected and qualified. No director shall serve more than two consecutive three-year terms, but may be re-elected after a lapse of one year. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Vacancies and newly created directorships. Any newly created directorship and any vacancies on the board of directors arising at any time from any cause may be filled at any meeting of the board of directors by a majority of the directors then in office. A director elected to fill a vac vacancy shall be elected for the unexpired term of the member's predecessor in office. Removal. Any director may at any time be removed from office for any cause deemed sufficient by the Board of Directors by the affirmative vote of two-thirds of the full number of directors then in office acting at a meeting of the Board, the notice of which has specified for the purpose of removal. In addition, three consecutive absences from regular meetings of the Board shall constitute an automatic resignation without any further action of the Board or directors unless the president of the board has excused the absences. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Compensation. Directors shall not receive salaries for their services. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, here we go again. Yeah. You from we go again another right That's only for there. people out of town. That's only for people for out of town. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> people in town, yeah. They but by resolution of the board of directors, expenses of attendance, if any, may be allowed for attendance at any regular or special meeting of the board. The corporation shall not provide personal loans to any director. This is where word ignore comes from. Ignore? Ignore. You shall not ignore. All right. Um, is that what we wanted to achieve? And then, uh, what time do go, go on more. You know six? I want to six. Let's keep going. Want to do it? Oh, all right. Six. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do six, and we'll be able. To we'll do six. Yeah. Yeah. Fun. All right. Meeting of the directors. Uh, section six one. Annual meeting. A regular annual meeting of the board of directors shall take place each year at such time, date, and place as shall be designated by the board of directors. The purpose of the annual meeting shall be to elect directors and officers of the corporation, and to transact such as such other businesses as may. Proper, properly come before the meeting. Regular meetings. Regular meetings of the Board of Directors shall be held at least six times per year upon call of the President. Yep. Special meetings. Special meetings of the Board of Directors may be called by the President or by any five directors on five days notice to be held at such time, day, and place as shall be designated in the notice of the meeting. Okay. We, we set the, the Board at five. You set this at three. three. Three board members of five, if that's all there are going to be there. The oh, I see five. what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you you're three. talking about three directors. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of five directors. Three directors, because you're only going to have five. That's right. right. That's right. Is that six times a year enough? Should be meet once a month? Well, that's a lot of years. Well, I think this is saying this so is at least year. six times per year. At, at least six times. Yeah, at least. Yeah. 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 Okay. So if we, yeah, when this thing gets built three or four years from now, if you want to keep the summer off. <laughs> I like that summer off. Right? Uh, uh, I got enough going on during the summer. Uh, yeah. Well, it could be more because then you also can schedule right. special meetings with the above your six meetings. That's right. right. right.
All right, notice of meetings. The time, date, and place of any regular or special meeting of the Board of Directors shall be specified in the notice of the meeting, but no such specification is required in a waiver of notice of such meeting. Notice shall be given as provided in Section 7-1. We have that there yet. Section 6-5, telephone meetings. Any one or more directors may participate in a meeting of the Board of Directors by conference telephone or other electronic means by which all persons participating in the meeting can communicate with each other. Participation by telephone shall be equivalent to presence in person at a meeting for purpose of determining if a quorum is present. You know, really? So I'm sure they added that in case someone's yeah. away yeah. and they want to yeah. Skype in or something. So you can do a conference yeah. call or... Yeah. yeah. Okay, section 6-6, six, six, record of meetings. Um, so the, the part in red is... Uh, is um, what I had added in because I wanted to bring in the video to me. The secretary or in the absence of the secretary, one of the directors designated by the board of directors and participating in the meeting shall keep a record of the meeting. Each meeting as well as subcommittee meetings will be recorded in writing and be recorded by digital media. The meeting minutes and the digital video recordings are posted on the corporation website. Do you so, think it's necessary for subcommittee meetings with two or three people are working out there to have to have digital? No. 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 That's, That's what this says. I know. I know. Okay. That's why we're reviewing. Okay. What about the telephone meetings? When we're having a telephone meeting, how how does that um, I don't think I I think the telephone well, let's see. Yeah, because you can use it for quorum, so it just, there's more of us here. It's still more televised, more, but only we just well, I think what they're they saying involved? here, they're not saying it's okay to have all of their directors participate by telephone. They're saying any one or more directors may participate in a meeting of the board of directors by conference telephone. The way I read that is you get a meeting and then you have one or more may participate by telephone. Or you read that as the or, whole. Or the president, you, can call a meeting. It would be simply a teleconference. Yep. Period. We do that with Kiwanis every once in a while. Do you? Yeah. It was such I mean, it just gives you the, that, that, I'll tell you, I don't do that. That's just me. And if you're doing it, John, you can throw the recorder on your desk and then it'll record all the voices on the recorder. Okay. All right. There you go. Uh, so here's one thing. We have a secretary. Um, she's from SNU. Um, she's only been able to attend that first meeting. She has a work commitment. So, so she can't perform the, the job. Exactly. That's kind of what I'm getting at. Um, so what do, we, what do we want to do about that? Do we want to find a new secretary? Do we want to... I don't say find a new just, secretary because you're going to have to... You're going to have to have someone on it. It was, yeah. it, was, it was hard to find that one. Was, was, she, right was, was she transcribing the minutes from the video? Uh, How was she doing that? I, I don't know how wish you have done. We've got any yet. Okay. This is this is one of the things that it's funny that you found there. It's new. That's another thing I've been mentioning at the town meetings that it's a real resource new. You know, for the sure. Yeah, so if we can get somebody there, you know, we've been meeting college we've been intern, meeting uh, you know, the, any of the interns, somebody who that needs this on their resume or has to get some right. community call called to Libby. Yeah. Maybe Libby can help us. Yeah, well I'm gonna talk to Alicia first, just to make sure. Mm -hmm. She I'm can't not missing it. Where she stands, yeah. yeah. Oh, right, I, want, right. I, don't want to, I just wanted to bring it up at the meeting. So. Right. Maybe we can get Kelly Rice to do it. Right. Um, TV Bank. Keep in mind, if you got a snoo, snoo stew, they may not be here until the summer. Yeah. They may be from at all. That's right. That's well, even right. if they did the video, all these kids these days, they'll think, go, oh, give me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we still be going. Oh, All right, so <laughs> we, are we are we, the record or we, are we still get some uh, questions here. Uh, uh, should we change something? So, as well as subcommittee meetings, is coming out. Yeah. What about digital meetings? Meeting um, minutes and digital video recordings are posted on Corporation website. All right. Are we good with the rest? Yeah, yeah. Good. That's good. Okay. Warm vote required, section 6-7. A majority of directors then in that office shall cons constitute a forum for the transaction of business at any meeting of directors and unless 
otherwise provided for by law or these bylaws, the act of the majority of the directors present and voting at any meeting at which quorum is present shall be the act of the board of directors. If a quorum shall not be present at any meeting at any meeting of the directors, the directors present at the meeting may adjourn the meeting from time to time without notice other than an announcement at the meeting until a quorum shall be present. At such adjourned meetings at which a quorum shall be present, any business may be transacted which might have been transacted at the meeting as originally notified. A lot of words there. Yeah. The last one. Section 6A, action by unanimous consent. Any action required or permitted to be taken at a meeting of the directors may be taken without a meeting if A, consents in writing setting forth the action so taken shall be signed by all of the directors and filed by the secretary with the minutes of the meeting of the board of directors. The consents may be executed in any number of counterparts, all of which when taken together shall constitute a signal, single original consent. Consents by electronic mail setting forth the action so taken are submitted by all the directors, received by the corporation, and filed by the secretary with the minutes of the meeting of the board of directors. Okay, does that make sense? That does make sense. Okay, so what are we looking at? required or permitted to be taken at a meeting of the directors may be taken without a meeting. If consent in writing setting forth the action so taken is signed, how can you take action if you haven't had a meeting? That's, that's what they, I find that confusing. Well, it, it's a, a, right, everybody has to write a, or at least sign a consent letter that says that whatever action is to be taken, I agree with, and I've signed my name to it. That's what I'm reading out of it. Yeah. There's got to be a reason why it's in there. The concept, yeah, because maybe it's the inner of the counterparts. This is, this is so in other words, I, I can bring it, you can bring it. Yeah, here's my letter. I'm not going to be there, but there's my letter of intent here. It is. You, you take it to the meeting. I consent. Uh, this is the way I voted. Yeah. So I see this more common in, in email versus writing format. If there's something that's a, a vote that needs to be placed out there that, you know, there's not a board meeting for three weeks, but something needs to be done urgently. Right. Oh, yeah, right, right. The president will send an email. Does anyone want to make a motion? I'll make a motion. I'll, I'll second. All in favor. You have to get an email from everyone. That's the only time I've really seen anything like this happen with yeah. the board. Yeah. yeah. I think that's all it's saying is that if you need oh. to do it, you can do it without a regular board meeting. Seems like just yeah. yeah. Talk a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Well, well, again, it's one of those things of the, uh, you know, uh, we won't, you can't, uh, uh, council meeting, we, we do have that because guys were falling in, it's made sick, couldn't make a meeting, because all I do is we don't, just, we don't want you to go to the If you're not there, you don't have the facts, you don't have the facts. If, if you don't attend meetings, you right. should be voting. Right, right. That's my feeling. Right, right, right. Because what will, what will happen is you'll say, some people say, well, hell, I'll just send them a letter and say, I agree with this. Right, right, right. This is never a debate, right? Yeah. You have to be there to vote. I, I believe in that. Right. Unless, unless it's like you say, the, the president or whoever is running this show sends out a, a query to everybody and gets unanimous support for that. Right. And I say that vote. Right, right. right, right, right I right. think that's what that really is. Right, right. right. Yeah. But I need a debate. Yeah. All right, we'll stop there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, basically, it just tells you that uh, you have a right to act by written consent instead of a meeting. Yep, that's all it says. All right. All right, guys. Good Some time. of this is boring stuff, but it's necessary yeah. stuff. I know. Let's and go through the process. Let's go through the we'll process. Go through and then uh, we'll get her done. Yeah. All right. So, uh, section 10 is public input again. <laughs> Well, the only other public that voted would keep it at the end of the council. I don't know. Is, uh, uh, it's, re it's really interesting. Uh, you guys sorry. are meeting behind closed doors in private places, and I don't know about it. Oh, yeah? yeah. How's did that? We put out, did we publicize this meeting that's being conducted here tonight? Yeah. Right to know It's on, yeah. isn't it? Is it on uh, the. the uh, I, usually, I usually do that, but I'm guilty of not doing it tonight. That's okay. 
<laughs> no, but I try to do that. I try to put the well, agenda yeah. on. All right. Last thing you want to do is to let to have people say, you know, they're meeting in private. In this place, in that place, in this place. Right. Yeah. Let, let people That's why we got a lot of rooms in town hall. Come on, meet at town hall any time. But I think he wants to get your five three one seven to talk to the administrator. You guys, we got a room. You can right. get your room that old school. We've got two fourteen upstairs. There's lots of rooms yeah. that are being used. So I don't, I don't see any issue. That'll be good. Mm -hmm. They don't say that. They don't say we don't need this community center. There's lots of room in town hall. Right? Well, yeah, yeah, but, uh, yeah all right. Well, well, a lot of classrooms. Not okay, really, right. No, that's it. It's classrooms that are being used. That would be good, actually. That's right. It is a pain. Yeah. I mean, the library fills up with the, but, the well, bigger rooms. It, it, well, it's bring me back it, to my youth. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, we're going in the circle, man. We're hey, back pretty much. Side. I'm going back to school uh, now. Yeah, I, 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 see, they can't hear Mr. Rusher. Maintain. Exactly. Uh, Stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anybody else got anything? Yeah. Oh, that's what I said. Is uh, that's one thing that's interesting. We lose her next month, of course, in June. In, in June is our, our part-time parks and recs, and the one we were supposed to hire. And uh, she's part-time. And uh, what's interesting is the town staff, as far as the public works department, is finding such a use for her. They're going to miss her. Who is it, Corey? Yeah, Corey Wilson. She's yeah, with, at the, working. At yeah, the she's town? working. She's working. After all this, oh, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. She's at the town. She's working at the uh, uh, public works department. Going she in, should she's, be great. She's in our office in Evelyn, and they are they they're wondering what they're gonna do when she leaves. She's yeah. awesome. She's she just you know she has the organizational skills. She's going at. Oh, I'm hoping for an exit interview in front of the town council and uh, to show you some of the stuff that she's working on. That's exactly it. It's, it's all the time and research that nobody's been doing. Her resume is yeah, amazing. Yeah, she's great. Yeah, yeah. She really so, again, it's a, it's one of those issues that uh, they're, they're they're surprised already. And I tell you, though, you know, this is uh, one of the things not to pick on our town again. But I tell the old Yankee conservative, we can't spend the money. And I tell you, though, you know, we, we, they talked about that at the uh, public, uh, Park and Rex uh, meeting, uh, you know, was the office on, uh, last Tuesday is because they were talking about taking the summer off too. And do we want to keep the meetings going? And they did agree to do How much more they. Uh, how these meetings were going three hours once we got the whole uh, thing staffed. It used to be a hard time getting a quorum. There were only two or three people. They only met every other two or three months, and there was never any town staff. So you can imagine, it's like, well, that's why we have no inventory of the town parks. That's why, you know, you have all these holes that nobody, well, how can we get anything done? Nothing the economic done. committee, we got the zoning uh, board, the uh, planning board. The oh, yeah, my God, I can't believe and, it. Yeah. And we've got, it's... We yeah. never had a quorum before, and right, now, right, and right. we're meeting. Some meetings are over two yeah. hours. Right, right, right. You know? But you know, isn't that funny that now here it is? Uh, they said that you know, Corey and staff, you know, and Phil's showing up to meetings. I was like, well, how do you guys ever have meetings before that were productive right. when you had no staff, no direction? Right. right. Well, no wonder nothing got done. Well, it's telling well, your job, <laughs> and Andre. Oh yeah. yeah. Come to our next meeting. Oh, the Let's very go. next meeting, yeah, I'll, 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 I can ask. I can, you know, I'll ask him. Oh, that's all the yeah, I yeah. feel like the Economic Development Committee, the yeah. planning board, and they're actually listening now. I mean, it seems like we're right, getting right, things right, right. done. Oh, yeah. Things are starting, and there's thoughtful discussion. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, that, that, that is the, the key to, I think, you know, to planning. And, and, the, and the council, though, is that's the way I was said they go, is, is I hated that at the planning board where no inviters would show up, no citizens, right. no public input. So even though it's economic development, it's right. still a board coming in going, hey, we, you guys should be doing this. See, see, that's what they're saying. See, right. we should be listening to them. We need that direction and picture. Right. Nobody comes in. Nobody says anything. Oh, well, then don't worry about it. Right. You know, that's, right. that's the kind of mentality that that's where we are today. So and we're going to see. I'm hoping for great things for the Andrew. Right. I'm holding yeah. public input. I'm putting on like, like I said, I, 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 don't, I think he's going to go above and beyond. I, I'm going to hear him. Yeah, yeah, right place at the right time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He, did, he did marvelous things in a couple of places. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He did and great. He is, he's an economic development yeah. guru. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you if, should do if, if, they, if, if you guys, the council, yeah. can just kind of back off. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no. Don't yeah. try to drive him. Let him do his job. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. That won't be an issue. That won't be an issue. Yeah, he's, he's a team player. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's got that winning personality. Yeah, yeah. Right. Not to interrupt, but motion to is there anything else? Yeah. 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 Motion to adjourn. 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 Motion to